What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we had the Brandenburg rebels try and advance towards Berlin and they were very, very kindly intercepted by this Prussian army. As a result, they are significantly more depleted than they would ordinarily be. So we should be able to mop up this remaining army fairly quickly. So let's take them out. So what we're going to uh, find is once we've destroyed this force, that will be the main power, the main hostile power in the east has been neutralized to a certain degree. So what I would then seek to do is spend a few turns building up my empire, trying to get to fire by rank and start to convert my army to being a bulk militia force to a bulk regular force. So let's put our militia in the center. Let's create a couple of flanks of line infantry. Oh, let's put a militia unit out there. Because my line infantry have squares, if we come across any enemy cavalry, we should be able to deal with it fairly easily. There we go, deploy my guns behind the line. Okay, so... Let's first of all, start by moving up my cavalry. Maybe run my cavalry. I would like to try and avoid too much uh, conflict involving my infantry until the battle lines have been met. Are you charging? I thought I heard a. Rah! Well, very well. Then we'll start it. So my wild dragoons will engage their regiment of horse. Too bad we've got sound shenanigans at play here. Let's get these units up front to start running to form a battle line against the initial enemy infantry. Looks like they're about to try and counter charge us with a 7th regiment of horse. We are... we're attacking, we're opening up. You units can run. Okay, let's see if that gives us any... No luck. So let's run the, this infantry forward, because they can start to hammer the enemy line. I was hoping my Dragoons would knock out the 9th Regiment. There we go. The 14th Regiment, regiment are upset after taking a volley from their 14th Regiment of militia versus the 14th Regiment of Foot Line Infantry. So the enemy are abandoning the left flank, so we must dissuade them of the notion that the flank can ever be abandoned. And waiting, really. The 9th Regiment are probably going to put a volley into the 9th. 9th and the 9th again. Get my cavalry out of the way. Okay, good. So this unit of Regiment of Horse has been... is being depleted. You can attack the 7th. So there goes the 19th. Let's take this unit of line and pivot. So both of you guys focus on the 7th. We've got one more unit of line to the rear. We may have to withstand the 6th regiment. Let's actually focus fire my artillery against them. I mean their main infantry force is going what well, is quite badly exposed. Come on, you two, knock out the seventh. I want to start clearing out some of the enemy infantry units. But they're sturdy. I want to start clearing out some of their. Hello, they're charging my infantry. Form square. Bomb square, my artillery is attacking their infantry, which I don't necessarily want. Let's see if you will successfully form square and interdict the 8th Regiment of Horse. Good, get this cavalry up here pronto. One of you chase down the 19th Regiment of Foot, the other. Get over here. You can charge into the 6th Regiment of Horse because they are coming right at you. Let's ceasefire our artillery. The hope is we can actually do a good amount of damage to this regiment of horse. 
I mean, it looks like they are going to flee, and the enemy force on the battlefield looks like it's just collapsed. Very well. Let's focus after their gunners. We've got two men remaining, so let's make sure we kill that gun crew. We are going to want to continue... get you guys to attack the 16th you guys start to run through the center they've got units that are coming back from routing that's okay because we've got a bucket load of firepower so we're not going to want to focus on cavalry or militia we're going to want infantry although it looks like we have to charge the 6th because they are coming back from routing so hopefully we can do a good amount of damage to them on the charge Get these units to reorientate themselves. But I think this Prussian army is pretty done for. So you guys attack the second. You men attack the 14th. You men attack the 16th. This unit of Val Dragoons is going to try and knock out the 6th. But I think it's probably going to draw on our resources a little bit too long realistically but it looks like we can knock out uh, a few well a couple enemy units at least nope go after the 14th because they're routing then continue to avoid this action and go after the enemy units that are routing this cavalry unit continue to attack the 6th you run through Otherwise you're just going to get sucked into this combat, which I don't want you to be. Yeah, the Regiment of Horse is still trying to chase down my Dragoons. So I need to keep making sure my chaps are attacking the appropriate units. And you're about to see these two units break. They don't want to fight the sick, they just want to prevent them from intercepting as many of my other formations as possible. If we could do some good damage to them, then great. But I'd rather... Yes. Do damage. Oh no, you guys go after the 4th. You guys go after the 5th. We are going to continue. And we're going to focus on the enemy infantry. Because Prussian cavalry is easier to deal with. Now we've got infantry with squares, although it looks like the 4th might survive because it's going to bamboozle my cavalry. No, they've been chomped. You mean, well, okay, now everyone attack the 1st Regiment of Militia. Chase them down. Ah, oh, looks like they escaped. Nuts, but still, I'll take that. That's quite a significant victory. For 450 men lost, they lost 1,500. So back you go. So, what have they got? It's only, yeah, it's only artillery. So let's just take a selection of troops forward to mop them up. I said to mop them up and get back to Berlin. So our spies. So we're probably going to want you to infiltrate Königsberg. We want to maintain some visibility on the east because that's where our, mo our main threats are coming from. You get into Warsaw. And then you get into Breslau. Just to give us some immediate visibility. Brandenburg is on our side now. Got a bit of time. Hanover, we need to be a bit careful with you. But you're, you're going to be okay. Five turns off of five by rank. We are scheduled to get 31 hundo next turn. Sweet, Mr. Denton. So I'm planning on my Cologne force uh, holding position, not, not doing too much against the United Provinces because time is on our side. Right now, the United Provinces are being frustrated by frequent French raids. So I think what would be good for us is to take a bit of a breath consolidate our front lines, get to fire by rank, and then start to move from a militia force towards an infantry force. It looks like we're about to get another army 
push towards Dresden. But I doubt they've got any real firepower behind them. Poland is a bit of a concern, I must admit. No, no peace for you, Poland. The Ottomans are a bit of a concern, but they never normally really achieve anything. The Marathas are frustrating. <laughs> Oh, but nevertheless, we shall continue. So we're going to get rough. We should get 3,100 next turn, which will be pretty handy. There we go. Works on strike in Hanover, so they're going to rebel next turn. So as long as they don't break, the government's, governor's encampment will be okay. I mean, you guys are just going to go out, hit wall for fray, just clear out his little force. Back you go. Combine. So we probably can't repair or replenish everyone in one go. Well, we can, just, but we don't necessarily want to. Let's just pick some of the... a handful of depleted units and do some tactical replenishment. It's got 1,500. I think I might want to go for cobbled roads in Hanover in the event that we need to start running troops around. Four turns to a fire by rank. We do really want to upgrade a school. There's no immediate quick wins, except I wonder. Peace and trade. Yes! And they're indifferent to us. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Because we don't necessarily want to push against the Prussians. We want to consolidate what we've got. So in which case, let's take... Okay, you can infiltrate... Warsaw. Okay, let's reorientate actually. Let's get some more visibility on what's going on to the south. And let's probably send you... Maybe into Venice. See what's going on in Italy. And let's keep you... And you infiltrate Amsterdam. Okay, so actually the Eastern Front is now going to be a bit quieter now. So we can spend a bit of time. Four and a half thousand as well, income. That's really good. I don't think we're going to get any bonuses from trade. Next turn, I definitely want to repair the trade port. Repair the trade port and upgrade my college because we're going to start getting into trouble being too far behind. I'm not keeping up with technologies, but at the very least, this means that we can start to focus our efforts against the Dutch. So now we've managed to make peace with one of our more significant enemies. I I'm under no illusions. They will probably continue their war against us in due course. Uh-oh. Poland's pushing against Austria. That's not good. Hmm. Hmm. In some ways, it's or in some ways it is advantageous for us because it means that we could potentially swoop in and grab some Austrian territories free. The Mughals are interdicting my trade with the Marathas. That's a bit frustrating. The Dutch, are, the, the Danish are being the Danish. Trade agreement cancelled with France. They've rioted in Hanover, but they didn't break the government building, so we're okay. France, let's trade again. I don't quite know why you're hopping around like this. Let's repair the port. So I want one of these to be a research building, but I can't really do that without upgrading my own college, and I'm probably going to make Magdeburg a church school, because Berlin is majority Protestant. It would be nice to turn them Catholic and also get some more missionaries, or get a missionary to kind of clear up any pockets of Protestantism. These territories are still broken, so that's not ideal, but there's not a lot really we can do. Oh, exact! Look at that. What are the odds of that? 105, and we need exactly 105 to repair this tenanted farm. Okay. So then next turn, I want to do some repairs. Ah, oh, my rake died in trading Amsterdam. But yeah, I really want to start to uh, spend a bit of cash and upgrade some of my empire. Austria is reinforcing Vienna, which is excellent news. The Dutch are continuing to whittle themselves away against the French. 
We definitely do want to take Amsterdam, and at some point that will mean war with France. I think, I'm pretty sure that Poland, yeah, Poland and Prussia are at war, which is advantageous for us. I don't like that they're pushing on Prague, so there may be an opportunity for this Brandenburg force to move south and secure the city if it is taken by Polish forces. And, oh, that's not good. Okay, so it might be good that we've made peace with Prussia because we may have a new enemy to the southeast. Poland and the Ottomans may need to be repulsed. Mm -hmm. Interesting times, though. So, 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 so. Yeah, one of our agents got executed, but have we got another one? Ah. Uh, Okay, so... Is there anyone... Uh, no generals, it's just basic troops. Okay. We need... To bring you guys north to begin waging some sort of campaign against Poland. Can you guys... Replenish your troops and leave Berlin? Minus five. No, you cannot. So if I take my militia and leave them behind... Goes down to minus two, which is good. Let's repair one of these buildings. That's a big chunk of change in repairing the Weaver's Cottage, but it's a good investment. Probably stand to upgrade you to a craft workshop and move the bulk of these troops south to Dresden. Doesn't get them within range of Prague, but it does mean... Mm, do we go to, uh, I suppose it's in our interest to go to war with Austria to keep them alive but we we could take this territory into our empire maybe we let this army break upon Dresden get another turn of replenishment and then attack next turn no let's no no let's do the honorable thing you want to take Prague you're going to have to go through us we're going to stand by Austria I never normally stand by Allies, I think you can actually stand to have a Dragoon unit leave. Because you... Eh, maybe move a line infantry unit out. They're not quite as significant. Move you over to Berlin to knock a minus two to minus one. Might even be able to move... No. Oh yeah, and they did wreck the craft workshop, so that's causing issues. We could go for Amsterdam, but there's an army... Here in the port, as well as here in Brussels, so if we move north, they move east, take Berlin. Take Cologne, sorry. Two more turns to fly by rank. A couple of things are going to happen. A couple of... We're going to get another turn of income, which is meant to be 4,500, which is pretty good. None of our, eight, none of our um, new ministers look worthwhile. To be honest, I've just realised, will that Polish army now just run past my... Run past... Um, Prague and go for Dresden instead. Quite possible. Ooh. They've attacked. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to back them up. I mean, they've not got much to protect Prague. And I could take it, but I think it's in my interest to support my Austrian allies to the east. I'm not in a position yet where I can fight around um, all of my borders. I need to mop up uh, well, I need to defeat the, the Dutch, really, but I can't defeat the Dutch until my eastern flank is secure and I can start to upgrade my... Oh yeah, because we're reinforcing. Yep, significant amount of cavalry and some good infantry, but neither as good as ours. Come on, Austria. Come over to our formation. One of them is. The general is, but there are other troops. We hit space. They're going in. Well, they were. My intention is to deploy my artillery and begin engaging.
My infantry is going to run because the enemy. Dispatch my dragoons ahead at speed. This infantry is going to go here. Get another set of guns up. The enemy general, uh, the allied general has fallen. Not ideal. But we will make them suffer for this. So my dragoons in against the regiment of horse. We have another infantry unit across here. go. We want to get our guns set up to start pounding the enemy formations. Too bad that the provincial carabiner are not going to be able to repulse the enemy. You guys deploy out on the left flank as well. Knock out the 11th. There we go. Carabiner are done for. There we go. So let's get my cavalry out wide. So get my guns unlimbered. Regiment of Horse is running in. Good for them. My guns are going to focus on... Yeah, that unit of cavalry got their attention. It looks like they particularly want to bombard my... infantry forces, but like I said, they're going to be a bit stuffed when they deploy into square. Ooh, they've hit one of my gun teams. So we'd get them limbered up. Not quite sure where, why you're running so far forward, but... Deploying to square. Bombard the enemy. Second regiment are going after the 11th. As long as you guys maintain the square, I can send you guys in to reinforce. This infantry can get out of square and begin advancing. The enemy cavalry force looks like it's going to spend itself against my squares. Keep my gunners engaging their artillery. haven't managed to make a decisive breakthrough. Okay, let's actually get you guys out of here. Let them attack the square. So the enemy force is a significant contingent of marines. But I think we're going to be able to have the firepower advantage against them as well as the manoeuvre component. This is their general running around to the rear. They're going to be unwilling to commit them into the fight. So you guys ran away from your guns, so pick them back up. There we go. So my gunners continuing to open fire. They're taking losses, but they've got 12 pounders, so they are doing, going to be doing better than I am. Things should pick up once you guys 
pick up your demi cannons and bring them to bear against the enemy. Focus fire their artillery. But I think the enemy are going to be a bit stuffed. They might have some guns, but we have more troops and critically more battle ready cavalry. So we're going to have to advance up into the jaws of their guns. I think we might want to run. Because they aren't ready to receive an infantry push. My gunners are already engaging. To be honest, I might just pick marines for them to engage so the lancers have had enough they're not even gonna, they don't want to get involved bouncing shot there hit the marines you men push up you men push up because again the ai is chosen now to relocate Bring the cavalry around the flanks. Yeah, the militia is already wavering. My dragoons can get up there to attack the enemy general. See, with fire by rank, imagine how one-sided this would be. Charge the lancers with my cavalry to make sure they die. You men push around the flank there we go once the enemy generals fall and their morale should start to crumble quite quickly there we go massacre the lancers it looks like we're not going to be able to kill the general I know we got him So these marines might be pretty handy in the melee fight. Yeah, you weren't happy because you were—you must have got um, scared off by a near miss from the enemy artillery. Four foot guards are unhappy. Get into the smash into the belly of the beast. See if we can cause them some significant significant upset through the cavalry offensive, which looks like we have done the job. Just massacre these Polish troops. There's a unit of marines that's sticking around. Danger close artillery fire. Commit into the bayonet charge of the foot guards. You guys might actually just focus on shooting the four foot guards. So you men chase down that line infantry unit. You men chase down the first foot guards. You men chase down the second foot guards. There we go. We have relieved some of the tension from our Austrian allies. Considering I don't ordinarily do much for my allies, I normally, uh, when it's in my interests, I just let them be destroyed and take their spoils for my own. But now I feel pretty good here. Go on, attack the marines. It's a significant amount of elite troops here that we're mowing down not so easily replaced especially when the Poles are already fighting against the Prussians chased on the foot artillery but it looks like they're all going to escape soon anyway there we go you better thank us Prussia we bled for you we bled for your city <laughs> there we go nice job Austria we got your back. 
You better remember it too. Oh, that's the crowning glory. Because now, as you saw, it means that Poland had, had to withdraw a full army back to hold Warsaw. So I think that is an engagement they will not easily recover from, which is perfect. Doesn't mean we have a fairly significant bill in replenishing that army, but I think it's a worthwhile expense to ensure the strength of one of our allies on the flank. It'll be even better once we get fired by rank. We can really take the offensive to the poles. Got another rake, so he's going to be put to good work. So let's get a rake down in Belgrade to get some warning on what's coming. Do we have any... Okay, let's keep... Let's try and take out this Polish gentleman. Nope. France has cancelled a trade agreement. Workers on strike in, Bel in uh, Brandenburg, but they're back on side. I can't ask for Austria. I can't ask Austria for money. Because they won't be able to give it to us. You men fall back to Dresden. So you men are going to go spend another grand on reinforcing that army. Let's repair the craft workshop. Let's upgrade the Jesuit College. And we're one turn away from fire by rank, which is huge. Right, okay, I wonder if we get, do we get a bonus for that from there? They're unhappy about my expansion, alliance, assassin, they don't like my assassination attempts, fair enough. We're still plus 129. I don't know, actually, let's have a look. Oh, I can't offer... Oh, I think we might have gone through this before. There is an issue around technology, I think. Uh, right, so 5,400 next turn. That's pretty big. Let's hit end turn. Might even be worth repairing the government building in Berlin, because that's about 4,000 plus gold expenditure. So if we could just get it out of the way... Look at that! That might have really rejuvenated Austria. Polish general. So like they might have been heading towards Prague, but now we've got fire by rank. If they come at us, we're going to mow them down. Big time. So let's see how the rest of the world reacts. We're going to want to probably push on to... Oh. Right, let's see who the Marathas choose. Us or Sweden? Neither. Oh no, they stayed with... They stayed allied with Denmark, but didn't join war against us. Okay, that's not great. It's manageable though, especially now we have fire by rank. But I would like to get peace with the Dutch. I'll take peace with the Barbary States. Fire by rank. Good. Okay, Coburg, let's get you on to social contract to start to create more upward pressure on our economy. Okay, 13 United Provinces. Peace and trade. No words to describe this insult. It's not an insult. I'm, I'm glad that it would appear that we don't need to reinforce that army any more than we already have. 4,100 repair the government building. We've got to do that. Hmm. Okay, this isn't ideal. Because if we didn't fight Denmark, we're going to need to also take Reykjavik to properly secure Denmark, so they'll never let us get it. Hmm. 1,500. Nearly 1,500, because we can't get another school in Berlin just yet. Very well. We are going to have to build up a militia force. We'll build up an army here while we march you north to take Copenhagen. Take Copenhagen, try and demand peace talks. See how many 
troops we can pull out of Hanover. Okay, we can move you men out towards this force and advance up towards the enemy. It's not ideal because we can't actually cross. Oh, I can't cross over, can we? Okay, you push them out of Lubeck. Let's see if someone comes in and kills that brig and provides enough coverage here that we might be able to flee, or at least Sweden. It's, yeah, did Sweden join us in war, actually? Yes, they did. So if they push this army out, of, this navy out of Malmo, hopefully someone kills them and that will give us enough, enough of a gap to cross over and take Copenhagen. It does mean we need to reinforce Berlin and Dresden quite rapidly, but that should be doable. Yeah, you actually you stay down in stay down towards Venice. So Poland, where's that king? There he is. Stanislaw Poniatowski with a decent army. I need to try to take him out for the sake of our allies. It's not good for us long term. There's not a lot else we can do, realistically. Could try and crank up upper tax rates, upper class tax rates, but that's causing negative growth. No, I've got to keep keep the positive growth going. Okay, actually, you might instead go for steam pump. Well, actually, what have we got? Craft workshop, our smiths, iron workshop. Smiths. Okay, go for basic steam pumps to get an immediate boost to the wealth generated by mines. We need short-term income here, and we also need someone to very, very kindly uh, clear out those Danish troops from near Copenhagen. Oh, don't screw this up, Austria. I'd like to move some troops from the west, but I don't really want to weaken the western front. If I need to, then I will, but... Ooh, good! So at least that's weakened though, that Polish army. And it makes them less likely to push. Ooh, okay, they're going to go for Breslau. Bit scary, but let's hope they can hold them off. The Ottoman wants Saxony, and they're not going to get it. No one's going to get Saxony. Russia's now beginning to push through from the east. Which is a bit dodgy. Denmark's going to Denmark. Barbary states are getting involved. 2,200 because our ports are being blockaded. Understandable. Let's recruit two units of line in Dresden. Because now we've got fly by rank. That's not it's ridiculous. I really don't want to go for Amsterdam. Then again, it depends how depleted they are, but I don't really want to push my luck. Or do I just go for... Right, I've got to pick. I've got to pick. I'm fairly sure I can probably slowly build up a garrison over here on the to the west. To the east, sorry. Hmm. Can't build any ships over on the western front either. I need Sweden or someone to start clearing out some of these ships. Oh, the French stopped trading with us again. That didn't help. Denmark. Peace and trade. Nope. Not surprising there. Hmm. Peace with the Mughals? No, that's not going to happen. Peace with Britain would be great, but we're a kind of at war with all of their allies on the continent, and I accidentally sent them an alliance. Right, 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 right. What's the best way to do this? We definitely want to take Amsterdam, and we definitely want to hit this force here. One mobile force who's actually going to wait here. 
I want to see what's going to happen here. You guys recruit... Don't recruit anything for now. Maybe recruit a Freikorps line from Munich. Just to see what... Uh, just see what it does for us. I'm waiting to see if we get an opportunity to sprint across and hit Copenhagen. If either Denmark moves their ships or someone comes in and attacks their fleet. Because right now all of their ships are at sea and they're only the lone fifth rate. They're not particularly potent. Let's see if Poland does go for Breslau. Looks like they are massing. They're not sea attacking the city, but they are... Oh, they've taken it. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Might be best place drawing that army back to hit Breslau. I don't think Austria is going to survive for that long without our help. Ooh. Move the fleet. Nuts. So they've, grouped, they've combined all their ships into one place. I was kind of hoping that their ships would sail out of the harbour. Because I don't think we have that or we do. Right. You guys try get to Copenhagen. Because they're blockading, they must have no zone of control. So, let's... Mass my troops, really, in Dresden. Bring up that Freikorps line to Dresden. That was a good technology you researched. Eight turns to coke oven. We don't necessarily want that yet, but I will upgrade one of my iron workshops, and I might I might upgrade. Hmm. Royal Observatory is pretty good. I want a school though, and also I want to keep the unhappy. I want to keep the happiness. Low, but I think I want to go for a iron workshop here at Hanover. Coburg instead switch to improved animal husbandry because we have a handful of farms. It's that plus eight percent extra wealth from farming will be useful. Let's hope you can get through. I mean, look, mostly militia. Frederick Carlson. I would like to try and take Copenhagen and sue for peace immediately. Probably destroy the university, even though I don't necessarily want to, because I'm destroying all my universities. But I need, I can build one here eventually. I mean, the resistance to foreign occupation has gone down enough. 823 cash. It's not spent on anything yet, even though it's tempting to. I might actually. No, don't go mad. We're still trading with France. We're on for 3,400 next turn. Because uh, Spain's getting blockaded. Not any more, though, thankfully. Britain's on the move. Copenhagen will be will be able to provide us some good revenue. I just need Austria to hold. Prussia could push from Breslau, which could cause us some issues, but just thank God I'm at peace with P Prussia, because then that means that they can at least try and squ um, screw up Poland's plans. Not for long, it would appear. But I'll take any peace. Ideally, they, if they knock out Prussia, that would be great if they did it in a few turns. Gave us a bit more time. Oh, that's not very good at all. The Ottomans are pushing Vienna. I might have to give Austria fire by rank. I can't, no, but I can't. I can't give them fire by rank. Nuts. Oh, the Danish has sallied out to engage our force in the field. Smart decision. So, there's a critical way to do this. And the idea is we do not want to kill any units. We want militia units that are heavily depleted to go back to Copenhagen because they will occupy slots that could otherwise be filled by 
actual units, if that makes sense. If we, I'd rather have a half-strength militia force be waiting for us in Copenhagen rather than a, a full-strength line infantry unit, for example. Mass my cavalry on the flanks because we need to. We're just going to push. Come on then, Denmark. You think you want some action? Dragoons, Regiment of Horse, they have a cavalry advantage. But we have a... We have the uh, infantry advantage. I heard a charge. I want to hold, create a bit of a stronger flank on the right. Are they dismounting? Ooh, I thought they were dismounting. I want my gunners to attack their cavalry. And the regiment of horses charging in. So you guys want you to run close and then drop into square. Cavalry push up and swarm that one militia unit on the flank. You men commit. You guys drop into square, actually don't commit. You units obliterate that unit of militia. You men get out of square. You men form up. So now at the very least my line infantry should be. Fire. Front rank. Fire! Oh, with a cavalry, with a cannon shot. Perfectly timed. They didn't charge the militia on that flank. Where's the militia unit? Okay, you guys don't push them. Okay, the flank is... this flank is melted. Has melted. Really not great that my infantry here is getting bogged down in melee fights. But all we want to do is just maintain the route. We don't want to kill units. New units have been hit by cavalry, so drop into square. Charge into the rear here. There we go. Charge my guns on. Charge my cavalry on to attack the guns. So you begin to pick off some of these units to make them shatter. You may get back into square. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Hit the first regiment. You men smack into the 10th regiment. You guys get into gear. You may attack the militia to make sure they die. My guns aim at the general. Okay, you guys are making... Okay, make sure... This could be perfect if everyone routes fairly quickly in short order. We could have quite a depleted garrison waiting for us at Copenhagen. general's been killed. Enemy infantry's coming back. So again, just make them rout. Broken, 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 broken. Good. They're all broken and they're not actually in... They're in bad shape, but not terrible shape. And our forces are actually pretty good. So that is the enemy garrison smacked down. They've lost a bunch of men though, so it's still not going to really help. 
But the really concerning thing is the Ottoman army right outside Vienna. I'm really hoping you can hold them off. Because I, well, I, can, I can help. And I should help. Really. I should help. You men mass and get down towards Vienna. Try and rebuild some strength. You guys can nearly suck out the rest of my cash. Probably going to withstand... Probably going to hold. We're going to siege you, but we're not going to attack yet because I want to try and draw you out so my infantry can do a lot of damage to you and we can get some replenishment done. Can you leave Hanover? You can. You can get over to Dresden because we got a lot of there's issues up ahead. You should be able to turn the tide here because that's a lot of firepower a small army could put out. We've got four units that can do fire by rank, so that will really contribute to any attack on Vienna. I, mean, I want to start really getting rid of pulling some of you guys back. Challenge is, I want to try and deliver a bit of a knockout blow, but you guys seem like a lot to defend Cologne, considering we've not been attacked, but that's probably part of the reason why we haven't been attacked. Let's bring some of you guys east. One more turn till we get... I uh, can't remember what that is. Improved animal husbandry, that's the one. Sit and turn. I'm probably going to destroy the school in Denmark when we get it, because that, that city is going to need to be brought into the fold rapidly, and that probably means knocking down the university, replace it with a church school, and begin spreading the light of Catholicism. Spanish are on the move. Prussians are still raiding, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, they've taken damage. The ar there are armies that are starting to be dispatched from Breslau, so we may try and make peace with Poland. I don't think we're going to be able to hold them. Oh, okay, they've sieged Vienna, but they've not attacked it yet. We have options. We have options. Haha, <laughs> and the garrison at Copenhagen is going to Sally. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the battle before the walls of Copenhagen. Cheers everyone.